Happy Sabbath and Happy Thanksgiving. And I have been so blessed uh, but what our beloved members of New Perspective community has shared with us through music and word and through your presentation. Oh. Thank you so much. It's, it's my pleasure. <laughs> uh, what a beautiful and um, gifted spiritual family we have. I'm extremely blessed by our New Perspective community. When I think about Thanksgiving, a few Bible verse come to mind. One of my favorite favorites is First Chronicles sixteen thirty four. Anna, do you mind to read for us? Oh, of course. And by the way, it is so good to share with you this time, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I should wear a tie. Uh, maybe, and right? we'll be Pastor Stina. <laughs> No, that's too much pressure. <laughs> or I could be Pastor Di Paola then. <laughs> but before you read the Bible verse, let's have a word of prayer. Yes, please. Uh, Heavenly Father, thanks so much for the beautiful music and word that we have heard. And now that we are open the Bible to reflect in a few minutes about the goodness of your character, uh, we pray that you be with us. Uh, bless us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, First Chronicles uh, sixteen thirty four, Anna. Yes. So, First Chronicles sixteen thirty four says, "Give thanks to the Lord because He's good, and because His gracious love is eternal." What a stunning, a stunning Bible verse, right, Douglas? God's love is and goodness are a reality in our lives, like every single moment. Our good, perfect, and unchanging God loves us and cares for all of us. He is the source of all the blessings. That's true, Anna. And at the same time, that our God loves and cares indiscriminately for every human being by surrounding his children with general blessings, the Almighty also aims to have a close relationship with everyone. As God invites people into a genuine loving relationship, He plans for each one of us to experience the specific blessings reserved for those who accept His loving invitation. Douglas, uh, one of the beautiful concepts that we have learned during this year of blessed to be a blessing is that as we receive God's general and specific blessings, we become channels of these blessings to others. Uh, we're blessed so we can become a blessing to others. Somehow we are God's hands, mouth, and feet, so that those around us can live a blessed life and experience the fullness of life physically and spiritually in God's presence. That is so true, Anna. This flow of blessings starts with God, goes through us, and we, we reach out to others and then comes back to God as we praise His name for the blessings that we have received and shared. In the end, it's all about God. Yeah, this is amazing, Douglas. And I do believe 2 Corinthians 9, verses 8 to 11 encapsulates this flow of blessings. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and you will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. I love this Bible verse and I think we have mention it a few times during this year of blessed to be a blessing. Uh, you know, Anna, Thanksgiving, it's all about recognizing uh, and sharing and praising God for His blessings. I do believe that we should live a life of Thanksgiving, 
The spirit of this weekend should not be limited to the second Monday in October for us Canadians. Can we, I love that you mentioned us Canadians. Canadians right. <laughs> but it should be a way of life. Paul, he wrote, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always in everything, Anna. Always in everything. Yeah, I know sometimes we struggle to have like a lifestyle of gratitude. At least I do. However, we should daily at the beginning and at the end of each day ask ourselves, what are the blessings that I see around me? How can I be thankful and praise God's name? <sighs> Whoa, that's so wise. And a good exercise to practice every single day, Anna. Yes. Right? Thank you for sharing this challenge uh, with us. You know, Anna, uh, I want to share with you and, and with everyone who's watching us right now what William wrote in his classic book in the 18th century as a serious call to a devout and holy life. Do you know who's the greatest saint in the world? It is not uh, he who prays the most or fast most. It is not he who gives uh, most alms or he, he, is, he, he is most experienced uh, eminent for temperance, chasteness, or justice, but it is the it is He who is always thankful to God, who will, who wills everything that God wills, who receives everything as an inst instance of God's goodness, and has a heart always ready to praise God for it. Could you therefore work miracles? You could not do more for yourself than by this thankful spirit, for it turns at all that touches into happiness. <laughs> Before we continue, Eduardo, see you soon. <laughs> we had a special guest coming in. I'm, I'm sad that you guys couldn't see. He's so cute. <laughs> um, and that's, that's so beautiful, Douglas. Um, I'm not sure I want to be recognized as like the greatest saint in the world, but I definitely want to be thankful to God in everything, always. That is a great desire and commitment, Anna. This journey of always being thankful in everything begins and finishes with God. We need to know that our God is blessings us in every second and with every breath we take. He is in the business of blessings. God's main desire for us is that, is that we live a blessed life, experience the fullness of life, physically and spiritually, in the, His presence. Yes, what an amazing truth. That's the reason that God gave instructions to Moses about how Israel should be blessed with a priestly blessing. This blessing is also a reality for us today in the New Perspective community because the words of this blessing inspired Ricardo Martins to compose the theme song for our year. So let's finish our coffee house hashtag blessed singing this song, The Lord Bless You. Thank you. 
word from God, how they should bless Israel, how to proclaim his name, and in his holy name I may say. Well, thank you, Anna. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this beautiful uh, new perspective community cough, cough house. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> and let's finish with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you for the gratitudes that you have surround us uh, or the blessings that you have surround us. Now we return those blessings in gratitude and praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for for your grace, for your love, for every provision for your care. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this community and give us, Lord, a beautiful and blessed uh, Thanksgiving weekend. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.